Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. Feeling a bit tired this morning. Kind of just want to go back to bed. But um, both kids are in school this morning, so I'm going to take advantage of the two hours that I have of alone time. So I'm going to run to both CVS and Walgreens. Um, I have a register reward and some extra bucks that are going to expire soon, so I need to use those up. Not a super crazy list. It's okay. It's a very, I'd say, medium week for both stores. So yeah, if you are interested to see what I find, hopefully I can find some clearance deals to use some coupons with. Both stores have been pretty okay with their clearance items. I found those razors last week at Walgreens, which I was super stoked about. So if you guys are interested to come along shopping with me, then please keep watching. All right, so the first deal is gonna be for Revlon Cosmetics. Select lip products. If you buy two, you will receive a $7 register award. I have a $5 Catalina coupon for any Revlon product. So after that coupon, I'm gonna pay $8.98, but I'm also receiving that $7 register award, which will make each lip product only 99 cents. Next up is the Scott Paper Towel and Toilet Paper. They are on sale for $5 and they are buy one, get one 50% off. If you go on the Walgreens app or on the website, there is a $2 off to digital. After that digital coupon applies, it'll make each pack only $2.75 each. There has been some really hot razor clearance at Walgreens. Go ahead and see if you can find anything. Some of these can be combined with coupons. For instance, this Venus cartridge was $8.79. You could have used a $6 digital to make it only $2.79. Super simple deal on these carefree liners. They are priced two for $3. And if you go on your Walgreens account, there should be a digital coupon for $3 off of two, which you guessed it, makes them completely free. So I decided to pass on this next deal, but it might be something that interests you. So these Kleenex value packs are priced $5 and they are buy one, get one 50% off. There are $1 coupons from the newspaper. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and use two of those. So after those coupons, it's gonna make it $2.75 for each value pack or only 68 cents per box of Kleenex. All right, now who does not want an awesome deal on wine? Yes, you can coupon alcohol. So right now, select Yellowtail Wines are priced $6.49, and if you buy two, you will receive a $5 register award. There's also a $1 rebate on Ibotta, which will make them only $3.49 a bottle. All right, guys, so here's my Walgreens receipt. I didn't get a lot. I got two of the toilet papers. I got two of the Revlon lipsticks and then two of the Carefree liners. All right, and here's my coupons. You can see my points booster came off just fine. The $3 digital for the Carefree. My $2 digital for the Scott did not come off. Um, not a big deal. I just need to live chat walgreens.com and they'll reimburse me. So there should be a $2 coming off of that. Um, the $5 Revlon coupon. I also used a $5 register award to pay. I'm not going to count that since I view that as money previously spent. So I'm going to tack that onto my subtotal. But again, I'm also going to subtract $2 for the Scott that was supposed to come off that did not. So that's going to make my total $14.48. But I also received 5,000 bonus points as well as a $7 register award. So 7 plus 5 is 12. That would make my grand total for everything $2.48. So $2.48 for two things of toilet paper, two lipsticks, and two liners. All right, guys, so Walgreens went good. Um, all except for that one digital coupon not coming off, which just so happens to be a all too common occurrence at Walgreens. Um, people always ask me why I prefer newspaper coupons over digital. This is why digital coupons can have a mind of their own. Luckily, it's an easy fix. It's still frustrating, but it is what it is. So Walgreens is done. Gonna go drive over to CVS. I have a little bit of a bigger list at CVS. Um, like I said, I have a stack of extra bucks I need to use up before those expire. So yeah, let's head over. All right, so first we're gonna see Maybelline Cosmetics. Right now, if you buy two, you'll receive a $5 extra buck. I'm gonna go ahead and look for two of the cheapest products, which just so happens to be these Baby Lip Lip Balms. They are priced at $4.79. I also have a $3 off coupon from the CVS coupon machine. So after that coupon and the extra bucks are applied, they're gonna be 79 cents each. 
Another awesome cosmetic steal, this time for CoverGirl. If you spend $14 in products, you will receive $7 extra care bucks. I'm going to go ahead and try to get it as close to $14 as possible. You can mix and match items whichever you'd like. I suggest getting eye products because there are $3 off coupons from the newspaper that you can use. With my scenario, I would pay $14.08, use two coupons to make it $8.08, but then I'd receive that $7 extra care buck, making each product only 54 cents. So really awesome deal on razors. Right now if you buy two, you will receive a $6 extra care buck. I also have a coupon from the CVS machine for 5 off 20 any shave. I'm going to purchase two of the $8.99 razors, but that's not going to put me at that $20 threshold. It's going to put me at only $17.98. But I found some clearance razors for $1.87. That's going to put me at $19.85. CVS has something called the 98% rule. As long as your total is 98% close to that threshold, your coupons will still apply and you will still receive your extra care bucks. I also have two $4 off coupons from the newspaper that I'm going to use. So after coupons, I'm going to pay $6.85, but remember I'm getting $6 in extra care bucks, making each pack of razors only $0.28. Cents. All right, so who doesn't want free deodorant? This week, Sure Deodorant is priced for $2, and if you buy one, you will receive a $2 extra care buck, which, you guessed it, makes it completely free. So every time I'm at CVS, I always check the clear section because quite often they have red sticker clearance. I sometimes don't find anything. Today I did find two packs of bracelets, which I think Alexis will really love. They are perfect for a four-year-old, so I went ahead and snatched those up. All right, once again, some free carefree liners. They are priced for $1.99 and I have a $2 off coupon from the coupon machine, which makes it free. Now CVS does not offer overage, but they will adjust the coupon down to $1.99, which again, makes it free. Pedialyte this week is on sale two for $11, and if you buy two, you will receive $2 in extra care bucks. If you go on the Pedialyte website, you can print off $2 off coupons. So after both of those coupons are applied, I'm going to pay $7, but again, I'm receiving $2 in extra care bucks, making them only $2.50 each. So I decided to pass on this next deal because I had LASIK a few months ago, yay! But you can get yourself some free contact solution. So Renew Contact Solution is priced $7.99, and if you buy one, you will receive a $3 extra care buck. If you go on their website, you can print off a $5 off coupon, so you'd end up paying $2.99, but receiving that $3 extra care buck, which makes it completely free. All right, so CVS went really good, although I am a big dummy and I made a mistake. You know, I've been couponing for like six years now, and you know what? I don't care what anybody says. No matter how long you've been doing this, mistakes are bound to happen. So I was going to do a Pantene deal, and I thought the ticket, this was my fault for not reading it. I just like glimpsed at it, and then that was my mistake. So I thought that it was if you buy three, for $12, you got the $5 extra care buck. No, it, that's not the case. You have to spend 15 to get the extra care buck. So yes, it was confusing. It's kind of an eye trick. I'm sure I'm probably not the only person that's done that. But again, my mistake. So I only bought three for 12 because when I got my receipt, I was like, why did my $5 extra care buck not work out? Um, so that stinks. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do it now because I have to go pick up Alexis from preschool, but I will have to go back and return those because no way I would ever spend that much for the Pantene. No way I would ever spend that. So that is my error and I'm a little bummed. Live and learn guys, live and learn. Other than that, I mean, everything went really good. Everything came out. I got all my extra bucks for everything else. I received my $2 for the PLA. I received my $6 for the Gillette razors and my $2 for the deodorant. So I will show you my receipt, but again, I'm gonna take into account that I am returning those Pantene's because I had a brain fart this morning. Um, but yeah, I caught it, so again, my mistake. So I will go ahead and show you my receipt. All right, again, guys, the receipt is gonna be a hot mess because of those Pantene shampoos that I need to return. Uh, I'm kicking myself for that. Okay, so I did get two of the Pedialytes Again, Pantene is getting returned. I got one of the deodorants. I got one of those discounted clearance razors that were 75% off. And then I got two of the 899 razors. 
one of the Carefree Liners, and then two of the Claire's Markdowns. So here are all of my coupons that came off. I did use a $3 coupon for the Pantene, as well as the $2.25 off any hair product. So that is going to affect my subtotal along with the price of the actual shampoos themselves. Again, they were 3 for 12 So I am going to adjust my subtotal just based off the items that I did purchase. So for all the things that I did purchase, my total before coupons was $38.84. And then after coupons, my total was $19.84. So remember that number, $19.84, but then I also got back $2.00 six dollars and two dollars making my grand total nine dollars and 84 cents all right so that's it again sorry for the confusion you guys i am the first to admit that i yeah i make mistakes i'm human it happens it happens to every single couponer i don't care if you say that you are a couponer and you never make a mistake i'm gonna say it i'm not you're lying <laughs> Everybody has done it. Um, like I said, I've been doing this six years. Um, doesn't happen a lot, but it happens. Like I said, all it was was me misreading the yellow tag, thinking that I would get it if it was $12, but it was actually 15. But again, not a big deal. Just next time I come into the store, I'll just do a quick return and call it a day. Overall, both shopping trips I'm, I'm happy with. Um, but yeah, other than that, like always, if you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. Until next time.